gradient analysis. In this video, Azurite will be used to compute fluid gradients both manually and automatically using pressure points derived from the stations, pressure transient analysis, and tables versus depth. After QA QCing each station, gradient lines can be generated in the pressure profile to identify different fluids and contacts. These lines can be created manually using the New Line option available in the Logs tab and by selecting the range of points required. Once the lines are defined, the gradient and density values will be computed and statistics displayed. If another line is created in the same zone, a contact will be computed based on the intersection. The results table summarizes the gradient values for each line, including statistics such as the fit quality, standard deviation of the data, denoted by the blue curve, and the standard deviation of a Monte Carlo simulation, denoted by the red curve. These values can be improved by selecting or deselecting pressure points from the trend. Notice that if the pressure from station 16 is removed, the standard deviation of the data decreases considerably and improves the quality of the statistics for the oil line. Station 16 has a long production period, but it appears that the buildup was insufficient to obtain the average reservoir pressure. The next step is to run a pressure transient analysis on the long buildup. Create a new analysis, retaining the default parameters expected for the pay zone. Click on Shift and extract delta P simultaneously to automatically create the log log and semi log plots. The buildup seems to reach radial flow. Select this period of interest on the log log plot and draw the regression line for this period on the semi-log plot. P star is computed from the semi-log line and may be used for the gradient analysis. Additionally, an analytical model can be matched to compute mobility. These results are automatically used in the Station 16 Logs tab. By using P-Star at this station, the oil line now has a better fit and quality that can also be observed in the gradient results. The pressure residual pane helps to visually identify the quality of each of the lines generated. The excess pressure is commonly used to differentiate fluid densities using one of the lines as a reference phase. Gradients can be generated automatically based on mathematical criteria to identify different pressure trends. The lines can be computed using zones defined manually. If necessary, the zones can also be generated automatically based on the pressure points trend. This concludes this video on gradient analysis in Azurite.